now joined by uh, Mutumwa Mawere, who's the chairman of Africa Resources Limited. Mutumwa, thanks for your time. Okay, thanks. I mean, first of all, how are you feeling uh, this morning? As a fellow Zimbabwean, I must admit, I asked you off air uh, yeah. how long it had been since you had been home. You said it's 22 years. How are you feeling today? Uh, ecstatic, uh, but also reflective. Mm -hmm. Uh, because it's not one man that we should be talking about, but wrong ideas mm -hmm. can be cancerous. So you can look at Mugabe, but what is Mugabe without his ideas? And what are the ideas? Do those ideas speak to the human spirit? You may discover those ideas do not ignite people to move ahead. Mm -hmm. So people may be celebrating the exit of a man, but not the death of his ideas. If the ideas were correct, it doesn't matter whether you're old or young, the ideas inspire. So in this uh, uh, euphoria, 1980, take back the clock of history, 1980, people were filled with uh, this optimism, uh, euphoria, expecting the future to be better than the past. Mm -hmm. Then you look back 38 years later, what do you see? Squandered opportunities, uh, hopes that were dashed, dreams that were uh, uh, reduced to nightmares. Mm -hmm. So what is it? Uh, can we say one man is the explanatory variable? Mm -hmm. Absent Mugabe, Zimbabwe will lift itself out of where it has been, the journey is traveled, could it be one man uh, driving that, uh, that uh, trajectory or a Titanic singing and uh, one man is responsible? Well, Mugabe we know is powerful, but certainly not that uh, powerful to have done all of that single-handedly. But if you can just take us through your history, I mean, 22 years ago when you did leave Zimbabwe, or um, why did you leave? I, you know, I left to go to, uh, for work purposes. I left for the United States to work for the World Bank. And then I came to South Africa in 95, mm -hmm. uh, which is, I think, uh, I left in 1988. But I've been involved in business. Under Mugabe, my companies were taken over. Mm. I have the fortune of having a law just enacted to take over my companies. Mm. And uh, that's 26 companies were affected. Mines were closed, thousands of jobs lost. That is 14 years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, 14 years later, some people are just recognizing the problem. Mm -hmm. So when you look at uh, the history, and uh, I have reconciled myself to understand that actually ideas matter, mm -hmm. that you can go to Cuba, you can go to the former Soviet Union, you can go to Venezuela. It's not just, it's not Mugabe the person. The ideas can kill enterprise. I'd, I'd, I'd just like to come uh, uh, back uh, to you, sir, and just, you said your companies, 14 companies were taken over. Uh, 26. 26 companies yeah. were taken So which companies, what, what, what happened? Shabani, Mashaba Mines, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, listed companies, Stillnet, uh, General Belting, Stano Holdings, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, banks, insurance companies. Now uh, that we've got a new dispensation, is there any opportunity to revive those companies? No, we, we wait and see, but uh, obviously I ideas don't disappear mm. with the exit of one person. Mm. And uh, wrong ideas can be toxic, so one cannot be uh, uh, optimistic, uh, I think irrationally. You have to be optimistic and we have to invest in, in the kind of ideas that spare growth because most of the countries you look at that you have managed to lift themselves out of one position to another and starts from ideas. What kind of government do you want? What kind of policies, the rule of law, constitutionalism, separation of power, whatever, whatever you decide, the architecture then lifts the attitudes also determine the altitude. So you can't stretch much. 
So, right, you're not too certain about the ideas right now, but let me ask some ideas from okay. you. Okay. If uh, Zimbabwe is going to achieve this road to recovery, some ideas for their policy, uh, their economic but policy. The, the role of the state, the role of government, uh, the, the, you must, we must have a negotiation. Should the government uh, be omnipresent? Should the government deliver the promise? Should change come from government actors? Uh, should we even expect the president to know everything? Mm. We have had 38 years of a person pretending to know everything. And what happened? We have had an intellectual. Do we need an intellectual in government? So what kind of uh, public officers do you want? Those are questions that have to be answered. Mm. Uh, Mugabe has maybe gone today, but the idea that one individual can be in government and can know everything mm -hmm. and can be capturable uh, if you take the South African parliament where you have a, a president who can be subjected to this uh, uh, capture uh, narrative. So do you need a thinking government? All right. So those are ideas that are age old. They are not really new ideas. Mm -hmm. So successful countries have had to deal with those things. What is the role of private people? We've covered the issue of leadership yeah. and the right kind of uh, thinking, not just intellectuals. Yes, but let's talk about other issues there. What other lists or what other items should be on the list Even of just economic Just try the liquidity. I liquidity. Mean, it's, itself uh, is, a, is an asset. When mm -hmm. you look at cash, some people call it cash, but some other people call it value mm -hmm. because cash is just an expression of value. But if it's now locked, imagine you surrender your property in a bank, then you want to withdraw it. Then there's a long story. It's no longer a property. Effectively, you have diverted someone's property mm -hmm. into an area where they have no access to it. Mm -hmm. So cash on demand should be an idea. But if it's cash in my pocket, it's mm -hmm. my cash. If it's cash in a bank, it's still my cash. Mm -hmm. So when I, uh, when I need it, I must have it. So those are simple ideas. Trade, what are the ideas? Foreign exchange, what are the ideas? Uh, they used to say that uh, uh, in, only in Zimbabwe do you have a crime called externalization. Imagine your for, US dollar is a foreign currency. Then you are accused of taking out of Zimbabwe. Uh, that in itself, that idea alone uh, does not inspire because no government is an exporter. Because for you to export something of value and get value for it, you must have done something because you can't force the customer to pay. Whose money is it when you sell across the border? Is it government? Is it the private exporter? So simple ideas that we are missing. So unless we get to grips with those ideas, you may find the wrong ideas also can cross the Limpopo into South Africa. Which we certainly wouldn't want, and many would say that some uh, wrong ideas have even uh, uh, been born they here. They have legs. But what about the issue of empowerment? I mean, we did have uh, some business people commenting on reversing some of these indigenization yeah. laws there in the mining sector. In itself, sector. Uh, that uh, uh, God created resources common to man. Mm -hmm. So we can't, we can't invo get an invoice from God. The resources exist. Then imagine somebody says, because I'm black, I must have a claim on the creations of for somebody external to us. So if you are looking at value, how then do you place this called uh, idea called empowerment? Do we even understand what it means? Because these laws come sometimes from flawed ideas that says people from Europe came here with one-way ticket, they paid for their travel, they arrived here, they came to oppress us, but guess what? They build homes here. They wanted to stay. And a person who is foreign, even colonialism itself, mm. is an idea that nobody actually knows what it means. Because I can't leave Europe to be poor in Africa. They, they, so the people are here, so how do we build Africa? Uh, do we need to be diverse? If the answer is diversity brings strength, brings value, Let's celebrate diversity, because all, all we want is to live, not to own. 
But we do know that capitalism is very much profit uh, driven. That's uh, number one uh, of a capitalist. That's but how do you, uh, if okay. you just allow me to finish there, I mean, in, 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 in introducing these ideas, how do you make capitalism balance it out with helping out the social ills? Of, of many course. of the people. I mean, in Zimbabwe, in as much as uh, some people might have that flawed idea that, you know, the, uh, the foreign uh, man bought a one-way ticket and he took everything, uh, some people still believe that that is a serious reality and it has resulted in a lot of inequality between rich and poor there. So how, how do you address the capitalist issue of making a profit with also creating social value? You see, ideas are not poisonous. Capitalism is just an idea. This doesn't exist. I've never seen an address where he, Mr. Capito is. But human beings create value. You can be a comedian and create value. If you create value, surely should you lose that value because of these big ideas called socialism or communism? No. You must appropriate your, if you want to give up part of it, all you know is that when you die, you can't take it. So you have to spend it anyway. So if we don't understand the basic uh, building blocks of a successful country, then we get bogged down into this capitalism. Mm. Who would want to be rich without the poor? But the good thing is that if you are poor, you must also be able to rise up and become somebody mm -hmm. without anyone in government saying, hang on, stop, stop there, stop there putting roadblocks all over. Mm -hmm. So we need a society that allows people to move from nothing to somebody. I mean, this is something that uh, Robert Mugabe is credited for in terms of equipping his people with skills, particularly in the area of education. But a lot of those skills have taken flight from Zimbabwe because of uh, you know the atrocity that happened there. How, how do we, what idea do we put in place to number one, uh, stop that flight of skills, and number two, get a lot of the skills uh, that left to return? It tells you about the human spirit. If I know Somalia is not for me. I'll cross the border. If I'm a camel and know the oasis is somewhere in Sudan, I'll go to the oasis where there's water. Mm -hmm. Human beings are mobile by nature, by design. So this idea that Mugabe gave you education, that is the biggest uh, false idea mm -hmm. that we need to take away. Because if you don't study, whether Mugabe is a dead or alive, it doesn't matter. You still have to pass your exam. Mm -hmm. Let's congratulate the people born in Zimbabwe, who bred in Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. who went to school and did what they needed to do to change their stations of life. Those are the heroes. But we have tended to salute the wrong guy. Mm. The creator ought to be saluted. He gave diamonds for nothing. He gave gold for nothing. All the resources that we need to live, we never have the burden to provide them. Mm. But we, yet we never salute. Then you salute another human being of flesh like you. Then you say his departure is independence. Imagine people celebrating that Mugabe's departure is independence when the idea of independence was not understood. Because we should already have told him the first day in office that your job is to salute people, mm -hmm. not to teach them, not to educate them. Mm -hmm. he, because you can't, the government can only spend that which it, it would have taken from somebody else. As we wrap up, uh, closing yeah. comments that you'd like uh, some people uh, to take away, because I do get the impression that you have, uh, or you're advising people to be uh, very cautious. Yes, celebrate change, but be very cautious on the outlook. I'm saying invest in the change that you want to see. I'm not saying be cautious. All right. Yeah, don't just uh, be in the bubble and think that the future will create itself. That people in government, whether you change in characters in government, that uh, that uh, change will be the change that you seek. So, so you're saying the man on the ground should take more control of what he wants to Active citizenship. Mm -hmm. If you're active, then the country becomes better. You always get the government you deserve. Mm -hmm. You won't get more than that. Mm -hmm. So you can't blame people in government and say, why did you do this? Because the governments are not created to replace human beings. And when they don't listen? Because you have your self-interest. Self-interest makes you listen because when you are hungry, you can't uh, put your hunger to somebody else. Mm. You have to cure it. So it means citizens have to be the ones who are active. They need government. Government doesn't need citizens. Mm. So it is citizens who finance government. But sometimes we think change of government actually changes 
the dynamics of life when it's the other way around. I love that. So you must take a bottom-up approach. approach you take yeah. more of a, a role in the change that you want to see. We're going to have to leave it there. Okay, so thanks. Thanks so much for your time. Many thanks to uh, Mutemwa Mawera. He's the chairman of African Resource Limited.